The annual temperature in Hong Kong is rising at a rate of 1.2 degrees Celsius per century. Over the last 100 years, the annual number of very hot days and hot nights have increased by six times and 35 times respectively. Hun Tong District is one of the districts which got highest population of the elderly. And Hun Tong is one of the hottest districts among Hong Kong. This is the top five. Wow,我已经心脏病了 Urbanization also contributes to the warming trend in Hong Kong. The urban areas are a densely built environment with uh, many high-rise buildings. The heat absorbed during the day by these concrete buildings will be released. And since there are so many high-rise buildings, the heat find it very difficult to escape. And a warmer atmosphere can hold more moisture. So when it rains, the chance of heavy rainfall or extreme rainfall will increase. Yes, we are going to see uh, more powerful tropical cyclones in the future. the people which are living alone, they have less support from their family members and they will uh, encounter some health problems, for example, chronic disease. So under the extreme weather, for example, the hot weather, the problem will come out. This <laughs> Some of the elderly, they live on their own in a small flat. You can imagine it, sometimes they may get bored. The community center may be a good place for them to hang out with their friends, develop their social circle, even just to enjoy the um, air conditioning uh, environment because they do not want to use up the electricity uh, in their own flats, so they enjoy the um, cooler environment in the community center. <laughs> People may not associate the impact of climate change to their life. So that's why uh, we think that the Red Cross or other humanitarian organizations have the obligation to tell people what exactly climate change is. And uh, after understanding the climate change characteristics and uh, the impact, we have to deliver some programs. We will mobilize our staff and volunteers to visit the uh, most vulnerable uh, population in order to enhance their awareness. This is the uh, leaflet we distribute during our visit, and inside we will have some useful tips about the heat wave. 
we target uh, the elderly people because maybe they're vulnerable to heat wave, so that's why we have to provide immediate assistance to them. But for young generation, we want to do more to raise their awareness. We can also increase greening in the urban areas. Planting more trees and vegetations can help to cool the city. We can use heat-proof building materials to reduce the amount of heat absorbed by buildings. And also we can use reflective materials on rooftops to reflect more solar radiation back to the space. So I think it's a long way to go, but we insist, we are determined to do more disaster preparedness, especially to tackle climate change.